Hello everyone, this will be everything you need to know before the third season of Barry. Alright, let's go! The first season follows Barry, who used to be a marine, but now he's an assassin for hire. And that's all thanks to this garbage can of a man by the name of Fuchs, who's basically a father figure for Barry. One day they get a job that takes them to LA to kill a guy by the name of Ryan, and the people that hired them for the job is the Chechen mob, which is ran by Goran and hands down the best character in the show, Noho Hank. Anyways, Barry's unable to kill Ryan because he falls in love with acting. After following Ryan to an acting class ran by this guy by the name of Gene, he also falls for this girl by the name of Sally. But since he's unable to kill Ryan, Noho Hank and his crew go ahead and kill Ryan for him. And they also try to kill him too, but he put all of them except for Noho Hank on a shirt. Unfortunately for Barry, he was caught on a camera left by Hank, which causes a massive chain of events to occur. First things first, the Chechen mob captures Fuchs and threatens to kill Fuchs unless Barry assassinates somebody for them, because unfortunately for Barry, he's really good at unaliving people. This then leads to Fuchs convincing Goran that he needs to go after the Bolivian mob. To do so, they have Barry take out a stash house, which he did with the help of a guy by the name of Taylor. And Taylor's actually a friend of Barry's old friend by the name of Chris. And they were all in the Marines together. Except for the fact that Taylor's a nut job. Here's why I say this. You see, Barry gets this assignment to go ahead and kill Cristobal, who's the head of the Bolivian mob. But Taylor, who he should have killed but didn't, comes up with the dumbest idea of taking up a mob boss and forces Barry into it. Along with Chris, who didn't even know that they were going to go and kill people. Anyways, Taylor's plan fails. I'm shocked. All right. And in their line of work, failing means dying, so rest in peace, Taylor. This is then forced to kill one of the guys that were going after him and Barry, completely freaks out and tells Barry that he's gonna go to the cops, which sadly forces Barry to put Chris on a shirt. More like a windshield. But you get the point. But then failing the mission also means that the Bolivian mob goes to war with the Chechen mob. But Goran blames Fuchs for this and wants to kill Fuchs, which honestly would have made me the happiest man if Fuchs had just died. But luckily for him, Hank calls Barry and lets him know that they're about to kill Fuchs. Barry then comes in and kills most of the Chechens, including their leader, Goran, and tells Fuchs to disappear because he's tired of him. I'm tired of this, Grandpa! And Hank now becomes the new leader of the Chechen mob. But the whole time that this was happening, two detectives by the name of John and Janice have been trying to figure out who killed Ryan. Actually, more like who defended Ryan by killing two other people. But while doing so, Janice falls for Gene, the acting teacher, and the two start dating. And Sally and Barry also started dating. And when Barry finally took out Goran, the police assumed that it was the Bolivians and the Bolivians and the Chechens were at war the whole time. But sadly for Barry, while him and Sally were on a double date with Jean and Janice, Janice figured out that Barry was actually the one that killed the Chechens. Barry then realizes that Janice knows that he's the killer and tries to convince her that she should let it go. Because not only is he no longer trying to kill people, but everybody's now happy and this will mess everything up. But since Janice is a straight shooter, she straight up missed. Because the season ends with Barry putting her on a shirt. You gotta be quicker than that. Which brings us to season 2 where Barry's fully committed to not killing anybody. Anymore. Not killing anybody anymore. Because killing Janice really took a toll on him, but it really took a toll on Jean, who was madly in love with Janice. That being said though, three main things happen. The first is that Hank, who's the new leader of the Chechen mob, has Barry train his people because his people suck at shooting. Which they then become really badass and really appreciate Barry for training them. This will become important a little later. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. And also, Hank is now working with Crystal Ball because they're both just really nice guys. The second thing is that Sally's acting career is doing pretty well this season because after doing a scene about her abusive ex-husband, she gains the attention of a lot of big name people. Which brings us to the third thing, which is that Fuchs is a parasite which should have been killed back in season one. I say this because not only did Fuchs wear a wire against Barry or Janice's old partner, John, who by the way, died in a hilarious way in a hilarious episode, but that's not important. What's important is that after Barry told Fuchs that he no longer wants to kill people and no longer wants to be used by him, Fuchs goes and finds Janice's body and then tells James where it is, which sends Barry into a blind rage, because Jean is now a father figure to Barry. Hunting down Fuchs, Barry goes to Hank's new hideout, which at the time they were meeting between three gangs, the Chechens, the Bolivians, and I guess the monks that were ran by Esther. But none of that really matters because Barry comes in looking for Fuchs, and while doing so he puts most if not all of Esther's gang to sleep. He also kind of accidentally, but definitely intentionally, put Hank's men to sleep. Those men being the men that he just trained and the ones that admire him. And with that, the season sadly ends with Gene realizing that Fuchs had told them that Barry was the one who killed Janice. And yeah, I hope I answered all of your questions, but if I didn't, be sure to leave a comment. That's it. If you enjoyed that video and want to see more like it, leave a like and subscribe. Adios.